think Shah Sang actually the... put technical. Ah, okay. Okay. So introduce uh, panelists and then uh, give me to moderate. Yeah, we are uh, going live, sir. Now, considering that we are a little delayed. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm delighted to welcome you to a new episode of Futuristic Education, a web series dedicated to education. And it is the initiative in association with Amrita Vishwavidyapitan to enlighten and empower the education community in the education trend for future. A web series where we bring together the edu leaders and experts from various domains to voice their views on pertinent issues in the 21st century education. And today we deliberate upon the most talked about, the most trending topic in the education corridors of India. Yes, I am talking about the Common University Entrance Test, CUET. While UGC chairman, M. Jagdesh Kumar has categorically stated that the common university entrance test will not lead to more parents knocking on the doors of coaching centers. The word on the streets says it otherwise. It is but natural for us to induce discussion about how beneficial is CUET. What will be the butterfly effect of this testing format on students' preparation? More specifically, the booming coaching industry who are advertising time and again about training the educators and how will all this affect our students' self-motivation towards learning rather than robotic preparation for yet another entrance test. Was this the aim of NEP 2020? These are all the questions we will discuss and hopefully come to conclusion about in today's exclusive discussion. And now, without further ado, let me take this opportunity to introduce our esteemed and special panel for the day. I extend my warm welcome to Ms. Ganima Singhvi, Director of Presidency School, Ajmer. We are delighted to have with us Mr. Sudhir Katumala, Head Career Counselor, Directorate of Admissions from Amrita Vishwavidyapitam. Next, let us welcome Mr. Dr. Siri Mishra, Director Principal, Prudent School of uh, Schools. Welcome, sir. I extend a warm welcome to Dr. Pankaj Gupta, Professor and Executive Director, CESM from OP Jindal Global University. Let me take this opportunity to introduce you to our moderator of today, Mr. S. Uh, Mr. A.P. Sharma, Principal Director of Kundan Vidya Mandir, Ludhiana. Thank you, sir, for being the medium of what will hopefully be an extremely fruitful and rewarding discussion today. With this, I hand over the stage to Mr. A.P. Sharma. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Devyani, ma'am. So uh, maybe that uh, the topic is amazing. And so is uh, basically the idea of having different kind of uh, people from different sectors of having administratively different. So CUET, when we call about CUET, it's very interesting that CUET, it, it looks like it's a cute, but not cute at all. One of my friend told that, yes, uh, it has been done. It has been done in a hush hush way. So children who are at, who are appearing first time will certainly find it a little bit different. But yes, it's a blessing in disguise that it has become a, a kind of an equal equal opportunity for all. 
but it was required undoubtedly in long run it is required because different boards were giving marks uh, shooting up to the 100% marks there was one board used to give 100% marks to many students and then du was having a problem that the cut off used to be 100% so uh, very very simply that uh, when we talk about uh, cuet then we need to think about the alternate ways because children whenever it comes to entrance examinations children always think about coaching institutes and when they think about coaching institutes then schools have problems but one one thing i will say that schools will survive and teachers will do amazing work i must salute that what they did during the corona and this problem will also they will resolve it and uh, certainly when there will be a competition between a school and coaching centers a school will certainly win in the long run only thing is the teachers need to equip themselves need to equip themselves with the latest technology latest pedagogy as well as changing their pattern of uh, pattern of uh, teaching in the classroom and instead of teaching it should be learning both are learning because for teachers also it will be learning so i will start with garima ma'am uh, so garima ma'am you are running a school and basically in the in in the city of ajmer and city of ajmer has been known for uh you know the great education background even the cbse's head office used to be in ajmer once upon a time so uh, some du colleges had collaborated with private oh, coaching oh. centers to prepare students for cuet how unfavorable is such promotion of coaching centers for the students good evening uh, sharma sir good evening panelists and uh, dear friends uh, who are uh, attending the session and uh, indeed it's a very very uh, a uh, thought provoking uh, question that you have put up across it's uh, certainly cuet is not cute and it's a certain game changer in the uh, higher education uh, industry and uh, i would like to uh, you know begin with the objective of why uh, the nep is actually uh, come up with uh, cuet so primarily there are four one is to reduce uh, the pressure of high higher increasing cutoffs the second one is to provide equal opportunity to students from all kind of backgrounds across the country to give them a common platform you know and also to have a better connect with universities across now having said that uh the the objectives are very important to be kept in mind when we actually look at uh, this uh, this uh, promotion of private coaching institutions that we are talking about with colleges might be uh, you know uh, universities might be doing so any kind of promotion to coaching institutions i would say would uh, be providing a status of legitimacy to this uh, you know parallel industry to the schools that we are talking about and uh, certainly uh, it goes uh, against the ethics and the resources of schools to uh, look at uh, coaching institutions uh, you know for as a preparation medium for these exams so uh, if we actually look at uh, you know few stats uh, the tuition and the coaching industry in india has uh, not been new and uh, in in today's time if we see one out of every four you know students in india are actually dependent on tuition and it comes to almost about 7 crore students across india taking tuitions uh, private tuitions now the tuition industry is also on the big boom it's uh, calculated to be about 25000 uh, crore worth of valuation which is increasing at the rate of 35% uh, you know uh, you know over the last 5 years so if we actually look at that we look at the industry specifics we look at the students uh, you know who are uh, increasingly tilting towards uh, you know coaching institutions and we look at the status of resources that is lack of good teachers so if the coaching industry is seemingly so lucrative then uh, even the resources like the teachers would also kind of uh, uh, be delving more towards the coaching institutions and hence i would say that uh, it's uh, imperative that uh, the colleges you know kind of uh, uh, not just promote uh, you know uh, the coaching institutions and instead uh, it should be really uh, you know they should uphold the basic objective of having uh, the cuet uh, uh, you know in essence which is providing equal opportunities to all which is promoting self learning ability in the students which is taking off the pressure from students so uh, as we know that uh, these uh, this exam is generic in nature which is uh, you know testing students on basic skills learning abilities attitudes and aptitudes i think if we really stick to uh, you know the true nature 
uh, of uh, the exam itself and it's the first of its kind so i'm sure it's not going to be that uh, you know tricky or difficult that the students are uh, feeling nervous about it uh, so yeah i think uh, student must trust their own learning ability and uh, dedicatedly uh, uh, you know uh, dedicate themselves to their preparation time so thank you well said well said garima ji so dr mishra so ball is in your court you are living in delhi and uh, maybe that many students and parents coming to you and telling that then cbse board should stop taking examinations or they should change their approach towards uh, their examinations because if child uh, has to get admission in du or any other college on the basis of cuet then why should a child uh, uh, put more concentration on board examination see that thing has happened with science stream already so would you throw some light on two issues one issue that should means give your opinion maybe that uh, mr vinit joshi will listen or the education minister will listen to you that whether there should be some weightage to the uh, to the board examinations also because many teachers are listening and they will uh, they they are here to uh, look at us that what kind of advice we give and what kind of opinion we make and then they, they will also make the opinion so first question is this and second question is very clear that should cbse also change the pattern of examination and their curriculum over to dr mishra thank you sir and this question you had asked is a very important actually and you had uh, raised the volume of delhi students i can say uh, in delhi basically i can say the not only the science students basically the commerce students having facing this problem of admissions basically because at 99 percentage of marks all the seats are blocked imagine the 99% marks in the bcom or bcom honors they are unable to take the admissions and delhi students are unable to take the admissions due to the percentage in the board examinations because all boards have in the same value so for category of these things for delhi students basically they face this the problem when we are taking the admissions so while doing these things the cut has taken one step very great step i can say give common test for all the boards regarding the boards percentage it is a good idea we should have some uh, part and parcel of the uh, uh, you can say take the percentage of some board 10% to 20% maximum because every board having their own capability or assessment policies due to which they are securing some boards are giving more marks i can say some are giving less marks but is a controversial statement if we can say it may be much better if we can say ki all the boards should have their own weightage the board weightage should be 10% not or not more than 15% and cut percent should be approximately uh, 80% and 5% or 5% uh, to 10% depends upon the locality or the area or some other reasons so when we are going for this type of admission criteria it should be very much clear that this step will be very much successful one part in cut when you see the criteria of admission right now all the university has not uh being the part of cut right now all the major university has taken the uh, participation in this year and the major courses has been covered up in this thing so all the private universities all the private and the deep universities they are not uh, even the some state universities also not having some uh, taken the part in the cut in cut first of all the child is focusing on the subject area so cut is important let us assume when we say about the selection of the course they are supposed to subject the elective also part of the cut also selection of the course also uh vinit joshi sir has very much friendly nature with the students basically i can say so they, he knows me he knows very well you can say ki delhi students and the metropolitan cities students are facing this problem of admissions in their own cities especially delhi students are not getting the admissions in delhi colleges delhi universities basically due to the high level of percentage scored by the other students one thing second thing in delhi and the other board all the board state uh, you can say the curriculum has been taken up in the cut and they had made the mapping for the same all the teachers know very well that whatever the syllabus has been deleted in the cbsc that is also coming in the cut so this question arising that uh, the students uh, having some weightage yes it's very true second part it will be successful model if your cut will be uh, uh, opted by the all the university and the students will also go through this channel 
over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Mishra. So uh, I will give one advice to all the teachers and the students also. I have seen few students, 10th, 10th, we are all, have also joined. So one very interesting thing I have done in my school, I told that all the students from class 9th onwards, rather uh, I will start from class 6 onwards, that whenever you are coming to school, every day bring prepare one question on your own, one of your subject of your choice. And it should have four, four alternates, means objective type of questions. So, you know, children will start preparing the questions. So, whole class will have how many questions? And very simple thing, uh, I believe that if you know how to tie the knot, you know how to open it. Means if you know how to put a trick into the question, you can solve it. And in higher classes, I was doing it for more than 10 to 15 years. Then I was calling it Project Eureka. So, children were preparing. So, I think board has already taken this particular uh, aspect of examination in their consideration when they have added objective type of questions in their question papers. And in coming days, the hint what uh, uh, the Secretary of Education gave that there, there is a possibility that such questions will in increase. The number of such questions will increase. There will be more questions on case studies. Now, case studies is very interesting. These are the questions which are objective type but not directly on directly from the syllabus. This means not directly from the syllabus means not the part of knowledge, but it's part of application based on syllabus, but part of application. So children will do it, uh, do it with a different kind of a frame of mind and will try to understand. But the biggest problem is until and unless the all boards, all universities come in, uh, come, come in a unanimity or about thinking one simple thing that yes, we should do justice. Because uh, five, six years back, CBSE and uh, the government was trying that all the boards can have same system. They can have a same system of, uh, you know, the examination, same, almost same dates of examinations, almost same pattern of examination so that there is a uniformity. So Sudhirji, over to you, you are dealing with admissions. So the biggest thing, easiest thing for you is that you need not make many, many merit lists and all. And you 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 will you will be depending on CUET. So how how what do you say that depending on CUET is good, or maybe that uh, various universities who are who will be taking their own examinations is a good formula? Then children will be appearing for many many examination. Purpose of CUET is defeated. Yes, sir. Sir, I think good evening all. I think that that's wonderful ideology shared by the previous expert. Actually, the idea of one nation one entrance test being pushed by our central government. Is an attempt, another attempt, need, needlessly centralizing higher education system of our country. Because if we are not uh, implementing it in a due diligence or cautious manner, it can lead to disastrous consequences also. As a person today who, who is uh, uh, looking at the admissions uh, in a, on a premier institute like Amrita, we have almost 200 plus programs. So we give cutoffs to students in a regular uh, basis, like uh, if you have, if you are interested in BSc physics. Uh, we, I saw one, one example, I can give you one example. A student who is interested in B, BSc physics, in physics he got 90 marks. But if you look at his biology marks, he is not a good student, he is average. But he couldn't cross the cutoff because of this uh, biology marks. But physics, which is the subject he wants, he is interested and he wants to pursue, he is having good marks. This can reduce the subject bias, actually, CUET. A student who is aiming for his subject interest, they can write exams based on their subject domain. That is pretty much required today. Because of this cutoff, students who are having 99 percentile overall, so they will be automatically having an advantage. But a student who will be there, who is having good percentile in one particular subject, which he is interested to pursue it for higher education. because. That's the main advice I, I will give you as a career counselor. If you are getting good marks or if you are having a favorite subject, pursue that subject so that you won't face difficulty going forward. So as a student, when you when they are pursuing these uh, courses which they are interested in, which they are getting good grades, so this can help, this CUCT format can help and end this student bias. And one more thing which I can tell is uh, equal opportunity to each university now, even as a university, we are also thinking should we accept CUET in the in, in the coming years? Not only central universities, as a private university, we are thinking. So can, can we take the, or admit students based on CUET scores? But there is an there is an advantage and dis disadvantage also in this. It's a debatable uh, uh, topic actually, which requires a lot of time also. So there are disparities because 
today there are a uh, lot of universities who have good name they can conduct their own exams they can uh, take students on their own basis and all but there are a lot of universities who couldn't gather that much name it can give more opportunity for those universities and it, uh, students can also get admitted in those universities also so this kind of uh, disparities are there advantages are also there because the main thing which i like about this uet format is ending the subject bias which can bring out lot more quality students in that particular subject so that can be a main advantage for this team i hope i have answered your question thank you sudhir ji so garima ji once again uh, to you coaching versus self motivation now self motivation is a very big word how do you define this self motivation uh, when uh, every child is surrounded by so many advertisement early in the morning from coaching and all the friends uh, uh, from the nearby are telling i am going to that coaching i am going to that coaching that coaching is giving five toppers and 10 toppers and 12 toppers uh, how how self motivation will work i think it's a very very worthwhile question which all uh, you know not just educationists but even parents are grappling with uh, in today's uh, you know uh, academic race but yes definitely i think uh, the teachers uh, and the parents you know uh, together play a very important role in this aspect of really uh, building up the uh, strength the optimism the confidence in child in student in his own study skills in his time management skills uh, you know and uh, prior preparation whether it is about uh, looking at uh, question papers the previous question papers of other entrance exams as well as now it's going to be cuet so the first one is in july but then going forward how well uh, i think these uh, preparation uh, uh, is done at the school level in an after school program uh, as well as uh, you know uh, child doing it uh, it on his own i think is very very pertinent the kind of support system the confidence that uh, the teachers and the parents are providing so for this just the same way as uh, i would say schools are conducting you know counseling sessions exam skill programs and workshops all through the year uh there is aptitude testing for the child to really really know where are his uh, skill sets you know with respect to whether it is numeracy uh language skills logical thinking critical thinking so i would say that the uh, the role of these soft skills training apart from the curriculum help curricular help that the schools are giving teachers are giving that both have to really really go hand in hand and they have to be heightened and increased going forward with the kind of impending pressure that's coming up so even though we may have said that the objective was to uh, reduce the pressure of cut off high cut offs on the universities but now uh, inadvertently the pressure is back on to the kids because right after class 12 they are you know uh, going forward for this exam and apart from other entrance exams so i would say a very well balanced structured uh, soft skills uh, program throughout the year at the school level is a must thank you so let's come on basics uh, garima ji very well said let's come on basics what we can tell teachers who are attending here and the students so let us make some rules first of all that right from beginning we should uh, we should uh, tell our teachers that yes make children learning very important is reading comprehension that whatever they read they should understand and second thing i i have told all my teachers right from class kg to 12th that every day when you are entering inside the classroom talk and talk about general knowledge for one minute it was surprising when i when i talk to class 11 12th student who is the vice president of india who is the president of india, they don't know now general knowledge has become and now the biggest problem is those children who were very scared of the mathematics they said oh my god in cuet there is logical deduction again some part of mathematics and mental maths is coming so mishra ji give some tips to the teachers who are attending and the students who are att attending over here because it is it is it is one forum which devyani ji has uh, provided us with the uh, amrita vishwavidyalaya Vish that uh, we we should guide them a little bit and children also children now should start using some mental ability learning about some mental ability and mental ability is general if your mental ability is good it will improve your social study it will improve your science it is not extra subject or different subject very soon you will find market will be having uh, having many many publications on mental ability general knowledge capsules and all so uh, over to mishra ji 
Thank you, sir. And you had asked a very good question, which actually I'm expecting also from your side. Very positive thing, case study. You had started with the case study. Uh, when we say the rote learning, when we say about experiential learning, when we say experimental learning, when we say inquiry-based learning, when we say research-based learning, so now case-based learning is a research-based learning. I can say about the teachers, basically, teachers should inbuild all the logical reasoning in their own subject. Coaching is not the idea, basically. I do not promote the coaching center. And if the teachers are doing well, yeah, the students are not taking the coaching center for all the subjects. They are going to secure the good marks for certain areas where they have the fear. And that fear has been started from grade four or five when they are not securing the good marks, basically. So for that purpose, I want to sub, sub, uh, give, the concept, uh, give the idea or you can say suggestion to the teachers. Try to come out from the subjectivity. As Sharma sir said, start some question, your chapter or lesson with some GK or some moral or something so that the teacher do not have the uh, thought process of that the teacher is math teacher has been calm. Now this is a math teacher. So math teacher having the fear of the math speaker. So that fear should be come out from that thing. When we are taking the classes, basically, we are supposed to inbuild, you can say, verbal aptitude, um, non-verbal and the quantitative aptitudes and this type of uh, curriculum or the uh, part of the curriculum, you can say uh, assessment part should be in that way. When we are making the question paper, when we are taking the question from the student side, when we are asking the question from grade one, I can say from grade one, coding and decoding, we are always saying about the coding and decoding. So that coding, decoding, the learning skill, 21 century skills, that is the part of the NEP. And NEP clearly say learning skill, literacy skill, life skills. So learning skills creates the uh, thinking out of the box, 4C we are discussing. So we require this type of thoughts process. And uh, in coaching centers, they are just doing the rote learning. They are just giving the suggestion. I want to say when the child is securing a very good percentage of marks, but they do not able to crack the JE. Why? The reason, but, but, but the child is preparing for both the things. Or they prepare for the JE and secure the good percentage of marks, but they do not secure the first position in the CBSE. Reason is that some of the paper pattern is something different. CUT is totally friendly, you can say, thought process of taking the admission in a one of the, just like Sudhir has said, if the child is having the physics knowledge and he wants to do BSc honors in physics. So why we are checking about the biology and the other parts also? Why we are watching these things? The child will take the physics subject. He will take the music other subject. He will enjoy the music and learn the physics. What is the requirement of the bio in the physics subject? So bio, whatever the knowledge they require or they want to do this thing, that knowledge they will earn because child having the fear, that's why they are having the fear of learning also and understanding also. The CUT is one of the part and the part, parts that you can say where they help to solve the problem of the children's as well. Over to Sharma sir. Yeah, Mishra ji, the very truly said, but uh, I'm happy that Pankaj Gupta ji has joined the great uh, eminent educationist and uh, a Fulbright scholar. I think uh, he, he is the wisest of all of us. So, uh, sir, Pankaji, you will take double time. One thing is that there was a competition between teaching and coaching. I personally believe the word coaching is better than teaching. So, I will change the name of my teachers as mentors because mentoring, mentoring is better than coaching. Let me clear again that whenever we look at the words, then coaching seems better than teaching. But if we change our teachers into mentors, then mentoring is better than any other thing. So let us, let us tell our teachers, be mentors. And once you become mentors, then you can do a lot many things because now they need to compete with such, such kind of a situation where they are competing national wide. And I think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, the, very clear about one thing that Pankaji will certainly help us to uh, devise a system, devise a process and will also give uh, his opening comments about uh, the cute CUET. <laughs> Over to Pankaji. Uh, sir, Namaskar. Can you hear me, sir? Uh, Sharmaji, can you hear me? Yes, very well. 
ओके ओके नमस्कार नमस्कार आप सब लोगों को बहुत बहुत नमस्कार हो देवयानी जी और सब लोगों को एक्चुअली देर वॉज सम प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओवर हेयर इन सोनी पर सो मैं थोड़ा लेट ज्वाइन किया आई एम सॉरी अबाउट दैट शर्मा जी इज अ ग्रेट लीडर एंड आई हैव ग्रेट रिस्पेक्ट फॉर हेम एंड राइट फ्रॉम द टाइम वेन आई वॉज विद ए पी जे ग्रुप सर वॉज सच अ टॉवरिंग पर्सनैलिटी एंड ऑलवेज विलिंग टू हेल्प सो आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर एवरीथिंग एंड you have asked this question to me and <clears throat> i fully agree with you ki teaching jaise hamara tha na ki jab ek shikshak ho gaye fir wahan se aacharya ho gaye fir guru ho gaye fir kul guru ho gaye so there was a complete process around that aur har ek level pe alag alag tarah ka the different kind of uh, system were needed and different kind of uh, orientation was also needed as we know that when we had a guru shishya parampara then we already had a very small kind of uh, teacher dot ratio and where uh, teacher which is not just a teacher but a guru i can also throw some light on you know what is a teacher and who is a guru but anyway so the guru was very much clear that who is a arjuna material to teach him the bow and arrow and who is a bhim material so to teach them the that kind of art and craft and then there was lot of surrender dedication nistha swabhav and swadharma and uh, so the whole model you know from swabhav swadharma to sankalpa sadhana and then going to the siddhi that whole model was there in our ancient system um so naturally deep uh, coaching is better because in coaching there are also some sort of a commercial obligation and personalized touches there uh, sometimes the normal our teacher feel are bhai ye kya it is my job uh, and like that and that kind of you know the shiddha se passion se kaam karne wala you know where a teacher also feel oh you know they are like my own son and daughter and how i have to make a difference in their life so if that kind of teachers are there you do not need any coaching you don't do not need anything else uh, but given the current situation here the parents also feel much more happy and uh, comfortable kai baar bhi hota hai ki apni zimmedari se haath dho diya are bhai humne to coaching mein yahan admission kara diya wahan kara diya and i paid money and that sometime they get a sort of a license ki chalo bhai theek hai mujhe jo karna tha maine kar diya jaise ek baar ek sajjan the sir wo wo apne dog ko leke ghuma rahe the so he told that i taught my dog how to whistle so but the other person asked i don't see him whistling to bole ki i have only taught him he has not learned so many times such thing happen where one person try to put blame to other person so it is all a question of you know how uh, and and you see that there are so many people for every seat available so it is more of you know some way or the other we have to find out how to eliminate and you know i really wish a situation will come that when our total demographic uh, demographic dividend uh, will be manifested where we are providing good quality education for all and i'm also very strong advocate of that a general kind of me to kind of education for all is not going to help because somebody is meant for different possibility like what i say that a apple seed has to be planted in kashmir or himachal coconut seed has to be planted in kerala or goa so for that lot of efforts lot of dedication sincerity is needed is what i feel but i fully agree with the sharma sir that mentoring is a way forward where you do not tell them what you should do you should do this you should not do that because har ek bacche ke andar bhi sab baitha hua hai even i have a son and i have seen that so long i was trying to coach him and tell kare bhai ye karo wo karo it was not helping at all then i started asking him where do you need my support and that became a much better way ek dur se na helicopter mom you have seen that movie that when you are giving too much of attention too much you know uh then they are sometimes giving very very negative result as well sir so uh what i would like to say that as regard the coaching and self preparation is concerned it is all about if the student feel ki mere ko ye karna hai so that person will do it sir because it is all about the interest and motivation and creating the light within if you can create that and that light should not be coming from abhav and prabhav but coming from swabhav and swadharma क्योंकि अभाव प्रभाव में क्या होता है तुमने ये नहीं किया तुम्हारा करियर पर बात क्या होगा फिर एडमिशन नहीं होगा फिर आगे जिंदगी कैसे होगी फिर शादी कैसे होगी 
दिस इज द नेगेटिव वे इन विच पेरेंट इन नर्स दे तो उनको एक मजबूती का भाव देना चाहिए अरे बेटा तुम अपनी जिंदगी तो बना ही लोगे ये हुआ तो ठीक जी नहीं तो की फर्क पैदा सो आई बिलीव दैट कंसिस्टेंट मैसेज अगर इस तरह का होगा ना सर तो वेदर दिस यूटी और अदर थिंग वी शेल बी एबल टू फाइंड अवर वे so i i hope i have not taken more time sir and no no very good right it, it it is really you have given a different status i will say even even, even better than the mentor is guru guru is uh, like in indian mythology guru has a uh, highest place uh, so sudhir ji you were listening from uh, a former vice chancellor and a fulbright scholar all these interesting things so uh, one thing is coming to my my, my mind like as a counselor and uh, Uh, as a, as an admission in charge and uh, maybe of a big big university because many students from Qatar when I was in Bilda Public School Qatar used to go to your university. So what kind of uh, what kind of uh, advice you would like to give to students when they are preparing for such kind of examinations? They should not get confused because if half of the universities are asking for board exam, half of the universities asking for CUET as an admission counselor. what are important ingredients or quality of a student you see who are seeking admissions in your uh, university uh, uh, to do an example of our university our admission process is completely flexible sir as i can say today we can't take i mean admit students on based on one exam we conduct our own entrance exam and we accept je we accept sat we accept ee so that it's flexible for students because not everybody will ace the single exam which we are going to conduct so we have given an option to students to write all these multiple exams if possible and get an admission but as i said this kind of centralized entrance exams might favor aspirants from privileged background to give an example uh, i prepared for je i went to a coaching center i cracked je so i studied in je i am not from privileged background at least my parents are aware of this je exam and all they they forced me to get into coaching and they made me crack je and all but what about students who doesn't have those resources so will they feel uh, burden will they feel backed out from this culture which which is happening currently so uh, how we can motivate these students also to participate or or uh, encourage them to write these exams through only teachers today all the exams even forget about cuet all the exams are elimination process they are not selection process so they tend to eliminate the students who who are not up to uh, reaching out certain percentage so as a teacher you should be aligning your teaching methodology towards application oriented le- uh, learning because when when whenever i used to read i mean i'm reading in school uh, maths and all i don't know what, where i will use this math integrals or differential so can as a teacher can you give them real real life example when they are going to use it or where it is used in future then students will automatically get interested in this subject and conceptual knowledge is crucial these days whatever exam you have been faced whatever test you are get, going to attend if you are having good conceptual knowledge it's easy to crack any exam which you are going to attend as a teacher you should emphasize students having this skills and you should not tell them you, if you are doing a particular course there are no jobs and all so it's it's down time for that course and all as an aspirant for ug or as an aspirant for any job today the real scenario is if you are having the desired skill sets it's easy to get any job it's easy to get whatever salary you want skills are in high demand emphasizing on these things as a teacher and including these things in the teaching curriculum or a school curriculum is pretty much essential these days for students who are aiming for any competitors so that will be my answer i hope uh, you have got the required answers sir yes uh, very much so uh, very interesting thing is this that uh, when we are talking about on one side by juice is coming and so many different kind of players are coming now reliance is also jumping into lms and various kind of so there, there is a there is a kind of tendency that other children they feel demotivated because their their parents can't afford uh, that much expenditure so they feel demotivated that oh that child is uh, just learning things from byju's he is learning from some other coaching center and all so it it is very important that we should devise a system in which these students who wants to learn must be given an opportunity to learn and remember no coaching center can replace school 
because social skills are not taught in coaching centers the emotional skills are not taught in the uh, in the coaching centers and coaching centers make people only robot like i asked one child beta i you four or five students you come to school after school and my teacher will teach you they said they were reluctant they said no sir i am going to that xyz coaching and their teachers are amazing i said okay how many students are there in your class when the teacher is teaching he said sir 120 i said very good so one is to 120 means whatever teacher is teaching you are getting 120th attention your attention is 120th i said just for five days you come after five days these children said sir it's amazing our teacher is much much better than uh, those uh, engineers and doctors who were never a teacher they have been forced to become a teacher because now in comparison to medical profession or engineering profession coaching teacher profession is better so the point is here uh, we have to we have to empower our teachers and we have to give them such kind of training so they also become amazing and they are always better than these coaching institutes teachers only thing is we have to tell them that this is the strategy you need not uh, uh, you need not uh, jump or run for uh, covering the syllabus rather put uh, an important aspect that whether your child is understanding what you are telling like uh, pankaj ji was telling that uh, about the whistling and all so we must understand whatever we are teaching a student is also learning it same way like i also give you one example one one teacher asked one child said come up come 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 up so child came up in front of the blackboard and teacher asked okay child said how many kidneys we have so child said four teacher said are you fool we have two child said please ma'am listen me teacher said no go go and sit down still child said please listen to me ma'am so child said ma'am you have asked how many kidneys we have this means you and i so both of us together have four kidneys so i am not wrong so basically sometimes our questions are ambiguous sometimes our way of teaching is ambiguous we will make it clearer if we make it uh, uh, very uh, student friendly students will do great great things and yes of course whatever they are doing in coaching institute the much credit goes to whatever they learn on field of education sorry in the in the games field where they have to take decision within the split of second whether they are in hockey football cricket wherever that decision taking capability coaching institutes will not teach that the team spirit coaching institutes will not teach rather coaching institutes will make you more selfish oh my position is what 49 i should not help the guy who is having 127th position all that is to be removed so garima ji in your school what new things you are going to do in next session looking at this that yeah cuet coaching self motivation these three big big things which devyani ma'am has thrown on the topic wonderful i think uh, this would be perhaps uh, my conclusive remark so three points that i would really like to work on further at presidency school uh, first would be uh, primarily uh, teacher training specific to really uh, nurturing the child all along like right from class 4 uh, 5 onwards you know the skills that we have spoken about uh, which are real life skills you know which is critical thinking which is language uh you know how a child needs to face the interview you know so these are the skills which even teachers i mean they may have done ba at some 15 years 20 years ago but it's time that we really really uh you know uh go with the times and uh teachers are also themselves skilling uh, themselves so as to uh get the children ready with basic life skills so one is that the you know teachers training the other one would be um i think blended learning is really really here to stay that is what our covid uh, times have also taught us and let's take the best of online learning and merge it with offline learning and and create magic there whether it is about uh, you know bringing in the youtube resources into boosting uh, you know learning uh, whether it is about uh, doing uh, science experiments which you learn online do it in, doing it in the lab and kind of uh, uh, bringing uh, amazing results from there so blended learning is something that i would really give better to in the school in order to bring uh, higher learning objectives uh, and uh, the third would be uh, i would say uh, emphasis 
on goal setting, exam skills. You know how, uh, as you rightly said, Sharma sir, about mentoring. I would say that from mentoring alongside, we can we can keep facilitate. Uh, you know, the teachers need to be in a facilitating role, wherein the child is setting goals for themselves. They are making their own timetables. They are doing their own research and uh, you know uh, summarization of how they need to go forward. Because it is not just about CUET or other entrance exams we are talking about. We are really preparing them for life ahead. And life ahead is way beyond CUET. So I would say that these three things is what I would take up: teacher training, uh, blended learning, and uh, you know, uh, contextualizing blended learning. And the third would be uh, really empowering the students to set uh, their own goals and uh, get their time management skills uh, up and running to face life. Thank you. Darima uh, ji, very well concluded. Uh, so Mishra ji, I generally tell my students and teachers that your intuitions. and your intentions are your gps so if you put a correct goal in your gps then you will reach there with your correct intentions that is the focus and intuition so your gps should be very very much correct now how will you how will you uh, give the motivation to the teachers and especially the students whose parents are coming to you and asking uh, mishra sir uh, kaun sa coaching institute acha hai cuet ke liye fir aapko kehna hai no 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 see in our school we will do all that what coaching institute is doing over to you sir sir thank you sir uh first of all i want to say uh, instead of uh, coaching center i will say to do the case study or research work for the teacher side also and for the student side also because it is one of the important part as madam garima also said about the skills i focus on the 21 century skills that learning literacy and life skills i am focusing on again and again learning skills basically having the four skills the purpose of education is what sir education is a process of learning not teaching pure process of learning and when we remove the l what is sir it is a pure process of learning as you see the thought on my board also we are try to create the generator job generator not the job seekers basically so job generator have the thought of the questions basically so for that learning skills from the start in the childhood basically we don't focus on the engineering side or the medical side that the skill is different that they require later on but first of all the learning skills start from the start learning सेल्फ लर्निंग मोड दैट इज वन ऑफ दर सेल्फ स्टार्टर हो गया सर आजकल बैटरी वाला इलेक्ट्रिक वाला सेल्फ स्टार्टर हो गया दे डू नॉट है स्टार्टर ऑन द डिफरेंट मोड सो दैट फोर सी क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग क्रिएटिविटी कोलाबरेशन एंड यू कैन से कम्युनिकेशन दिस स्किल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इन लिटरेसी ऑल्सो द इन्फॉर्मेशन मीडिया टेक्नोलॉजी इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द लाइफ स्किल्स फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी वी फोकस ऑन द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन द सिचुएशन वेन यू आर पुटिंग एन द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी शुड बी देयर leadership skills should be there your initiative in the taking participation that is also one of the important part next is the productivity if the productivity is zero the result is zero then you cannot start anything and last is the social skills but for that purpose as you say what i said for the coaching center and what we i said for the teacher both are the teaching centers both are the learning centers i can say but i always say to the teacher to the gurus put the sodas among the students sodas i learned from sharma sir from your side because we had discussed so many things i cannot discuss on this platform sodas economics paper you can uh, that situation also situation opportunities disadvantage advantage and come out the solution so sodas is one of the important part when we are putting the situation in the mind of the children or the teacher or the we create the situation in the classroom we give the option to the children to create some points also take the advantages and disadvantages compare this advantage disadvantage and advantage automatically you are not supposed to give the answer the answer will come out from the student side that is the experiment basically we are not supposed to say h2 plus become o become water where is h where is 2 where is o i do not know but when we put the situation they will create everything so that is one of the important part where i want to say and i say always to the teachers to ask the things ask basically means what your attitude should be there your skill should be there your knowledge should be there 
so that you are able to ask from the students just like you had said how many kidneys we have two or four so ask your attitude should be there for listening the answer whether it is a correct or wrong answer your skill should be there why the child is saying four why child is saying 40 into 2 80 or you can say more than that why these things and the knowledge should be there how we can separate the two things if we had wrong also that is also the important part and uh, regarding the skills of the teachers teachers are doing so much of hard work uh, digital learning is also there and this part is very very important last part i want to say something regarding the digital or whether it is a digital or offline i always prefer to make the lesson plan for the students also for the teacher if you are doing to cut and you want to say i always say when uh, dropati is there machli ki aank is also there find out the target goal and aim when you have the uh, listening to the whole uh, this uh, uh, you can say public you cannot achieve anything you have to not see the dropati also you are not supposed to see the garland she, she is standing with the garlands you are supposed to see only and only the fish eye so that you can achieve your target your goal or aim what you are expecting so five e's are what the five e's to engage yourself explore yourself explain yourself elaborate yourself and evaluate yourself how much you are engaging how much you are exploring yourself how much explaining yourself how much elaborating yourself how much evaluating yourself you will get the answer where you are and where you want to go over to sharba sir great and enjoy yourself so uh, basically the problem is that uh, that fish and uh, that i arjun one maybe that if eklavya would have not been asked to give his thumb he would have won anyhow i am talking about these eklavyas also who are not being given that much weightage in the education system and they are the one who are who are not in the education system with that much facilities and that much efforts and all a very interesting thing i found i asked uh, uh, one of the child that which one is bigger pav bhar sabji or 1 kg sabji he said pav bhar sabji after listening this i asked in the class and nobody was knowing what is sava and what is pav so i have given in, in this time i have given holiday homework that whole school will learn the pahada means the table of pav means pav ekam pav pav duniyada pav tina pond pav choka ek pav panja sava and all and parents and grandparents are telling oh it is amazing really means our children should know that which is, what, what is actually traditionally and practically when they go in market they need to learn basic exercise of purchasing basic exercise of bargaining basic exercise of evaluating all that is required but i will touch very interesting point and with pankaj ji uh, i think you are the perfect person to answer this is about parenting now all these students who are going from kota means the kota coaching centers that i, I will not coaching center coaching industry these children when they are appearing in iit they are they are uh, learning or whatever it is they are doing in iit what is what is the rate of uh, children who are actually passing and what is the rate of uh, suicides what is the rate of all other kind of disadvantages it is eye opener whether it's a uh, delhi iit mumbai iit everywhere there is the same story because on the in the test of life skills they are zero and as soon as they find some kind of difficulties in iit iit the studies since they were coming from coaching and they were not aware of these conflict resolution and life skills and social skills they find it very 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 means diffused and very in, in a very different uh, kind of a format and yes of course their family life also they look at everything at marks they look at everything as achievements so to change this system, to change this pattern and to change this uh, psychology and uh, philosophy and also the minds of mindset of parents what do you suggest Uh, sir namaskar again uh, thank you for asking this uh, question to me and as such you know i'm getting so much of knowledge from such great leaders so thank you to you and devyani ji for this great opportunity uh, sir many of the problems which i see which are happening in education system i can see parenting has a very important role to play 
बिकॉज मिनी टाइम पेरेंट वॉट है मैं वो बर्डन क्या कर रहा हूँ अपने बच्चे पे डाल रहा हूँ अरे भाई तू बन के दिखा अरे मेरे को ये कमी थी तो मैं तेरी ये कमी पूरी कर रहा हूँ बट इवन द चाइल्ड इज नॉट आस्किंग यू टू डू दैट एंड मेनी सच थिंग एंड ऑल्सो वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट द चिल्ड्रेन आर नॉट योर्स दे मे कम थ्रू यू बट दे एक्चुअली दे आर नॉट योर्स दैट ऑल्सो वेरी फ्यू पीपल आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट और तीसरी बात होती है वो कहते हैं साहब द वैल्यूज नहीं सुनते हैं ये नहीं होता बट वैल्यूज आर कॉट दे कैन नॉट बी टॉट दैट ऑल्सो जो बच्चा डे इन एंड डे आउट अपने पेरेंट को देख रहा है जिस तरह का बिहेवियर है इफ देर इज अ नो लविंग इन्वायरमेंट एंड लविंग लविंग बींग ओवर देयर इन द फैमिली तो लविंग डूइंग नहीं हो सकती और लविंग डूइंग नहीं होती लविंग हैविंग इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल दैट टाइम तो मेनी ऑफ द थिंग वट वी सी अरे तुम ये नहीं बने तो ये होगा वो होगा इन सिक्योरिटी एंड देर फोर ट्राइंग टू डू सब ऑप्टिमाइजेशन फिर बच्चों में लगता है कोटा चले गए अब कैसे मुंह दिखाऊंगा क्या होगा एंड जब मैं प्रेसिडेंट था आई एच एम आर यूनिवर्सिटी में तो उन्होंने एक स्टडी पूरी करी थी यू नो विद मेंटल हेल्थ कंडीशन ऑफ स्टूडेंट हुआ स्टडिंग देर इन कोटा एंड देर इज अशी ऑल्सो लाइक अ साउथ एशियन सुसाइड प्रिवेंशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर ऑल्सो वर्किंग विद सेलेक्ट कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन इन कोटा एंड सिचुएशन इज रियली वेरी वेरी ग्रेम एंड द चिल्ड्रेन मेनी ऑफ देम आर अगेन यू नो पुस्ट देयर कह रहे तुम्हारे देखो चाचा का मामी का लड़के का ये हो गया फलाने की लड़की का ये हो गया तुम्हारा नहीं है तुम कैसे लड़के हो मेरा नाम कैसे रोशन करोगे बट ये समझने की बहुत आवश्यकता है कि बच्चा उसके लिए लाइबल नहीं है और बच्चा वॉट एवर यू नो दे योर शी कैन फ्लॉरिश इन देर ओन वे देर इज मच मोर ब्यूटिफुल राधर देन बच्चे ने सुसाइड कर ली या ड्रग में लग गया और एनी अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देयर तो देर इज अ मच मोर नीड आई बिलीव दैट द टू सेक्टर्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज राइट पेरेंटिंग एंड सेकेंडली द टीचर टू गुरु प्रोग्राम when one of the earlier uh, central education minister was there we started this thing teacher to guru program where you talk about ki pehle andar ka andhera teacher ka khud hataya jaye you know by the way of inner journey transformative practices yog nidra meditation and so on and therefore then that kind of a teacher when he or she is there in front of a student then a different impact is there कहीं मैं आपको बताऊं सर आई वाज अ प्रोफेसर इन आई एम तो कई प्रोफेसर लोगों को ये भी तकलीफ होती थी कि यार हमें तो इतने लाख मिल रहे हैं हमारा जो बच्चा प्लेस हो रहा है वो तो देखो जी पच्चीस लाख में जा रहा है अदर यू शुड फील प्राउड भाई आप ऐसे ऐसे बच्चों को क्रिएट कर रहे हो और आई हैलवेज सीन सर आई बीन ऑलमोस्ट इन दिस इंडस्ट्री फॉर ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी ईयर्स मेरे पढ़ाए बच्चे ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बैठे हुए आई बीन टू फिफ्टी टू कंट्रीज एंड जहाँ भी मैं गया मुझे अपने स्टूडेंट मिले एंड आई बिलीव इट इज अ बिगेस्ट हैप्पीनेस जैसे सर आपने ही बताया था शर्मा जी ने कि सर कहीं भी किसी ऑफिस जाते हैं कोई आई बैठा है कुछ जैसे सब आके तुरंत आते हैं शर्मा जी के पैर छूटते हैं सब करते तो टीचर को इतना ही सर बहुत है सो आई बिलीव इफ यू डू अ राइट काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग फॉर द पेरेंट एंड फॉर द टीचर्स मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स विल बी सॉल्व इन दैट वे फिर अगर एक बार टीचर ने पूरा शिद्दत से पैशन से पढ़ाना शुरू कर दिया कि जैसे हम अपने बच्चों को डील कर रहे हैं तो सर स्कूल में ही इतना कुछ हो जाएगा कि कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट या बाकी चीज की जरूरत मेरे ख्याल से नहीं पड़ेगी और अदरवाइज ये चीज तो रहेगी भाई रिलायंस आ रहा है वो बाइजू आ रहा है उसको भी बेचना है तो बेचेंगे कैसे अभाव पैदा करके वो शाहरुख खान आएगा कहेगा देखिए तुमने ये नहीं पढ़ा तो यू मिस्ड आउट समथिंग कोई वो मॉडल अच्छी से ले आएंगे फिल्मी हीरोइन उसे कहेंगे अरे यू आर मिसिंग आउट समथिंग तो बच्चे को अगर मिसिंग आउट नहीं भी हो रहा होगा ना स्टिल दे विल फील मिस आउट सो दैट इज वेयर द रोल ऑफ पेरेंटिंग द रोल ऑफ राइट टीचर विल बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर और बच्चे का हम लोग शुरू से आकलन करें तो ना साइकोमेटिक असेसमेंट होता है बच्चा किस चीज में अच्छा है उसके अंदर वो किस चीज का बीज बैठा हुआ है रात दिन कह रहे भाई तुम इसमें घुस जाओ आजकल सब में लगा हुआ है एआई पढ़ो सीएस पढ़ो ब्लॉकचेन पढ़ो बिग डेटा पढ़ो फाइन बट ये सब क्या है पार्ट ऑफ द अविद्या है अविद्या मीन्स विच प्रिपेयर यू फॉर गेटिंग गुड जॉब बट वॉट अबाउट द विद्या सा विद्या था विमुक्त है उसमें नहीं पढ़ाया जा रहा है जैसे हु एम आई यू नो सेल्फ अवेयरनेस वर्कशॉप और जैसे भी सर ने कहा था सुधीर जी ने कहा मिश्रा जी ने भी कहा कि भाई लाइफ स्किल के ऊपर जोर क्यों नहीं हो रहा है तो इन सब का जब हम करेंगे तो होलिस्टिक कॉम्बिनेशन यू नो विल बी विल गेट क्रिएटेड सर और उसमें जो हमारा पुराना मॉडल मॉडल था सरस्वती जी वाला की जिसमें वीणा है तो गान है फिर पुस्तक वेद है तो ज्ञान है देन माला है वो ध्यान है तो वेन यू कम्बाइन गान ज्ञान एंड ध्यान और अभाव प्रभाव सेट के हम स्वभाव और स्वधर्मा में आ गए 
with the right mentoring and positive stroke by the teacher as well as by the parent aur saath mein pura backup support ke liye ki bhai main helicopter mom nahi hu but agar tum fall back kar rahe ho to main hu na main hu na to bas itne hi bacche ko chahiye sir and ye cut ye sab chalenge lekin jo hamari jaise hamari university op jindal university is uh, like you know top university top private university for the last 3 years and also in the global ranking and all that to hum log kya karte hain sir एक तो जैसे इन सर्टेन प्रोग्राम लाइक लॉ वी हैव एल सैट एग्जाम बट फॉर मेनी अदर थिंग वी ऑल्सो सी द ब्राइट स्पार्क इन द स्टूडेंट कि मान लो बच्चे ने किसी और चीज में अच्छा किया हुआ है मान लो उसने गेम्स में अच्छा है कुछ उसने एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर काम किया हुआ है या मान लो उसने कोई सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का काम किया हुआ है और सर्टेन चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन यू नो समी हैज कम आउट विद तो हम लोग हर चीज का वेटेज देते हैं अदरवाइज जैसे मैं आई में कभी जाता हूँ पढ़ाने तो वही 99.6 से 99.9 उसके बीच में गेम गेम खत्म सारे बच्चे एक ही तरह के हैं तो क्योंकि सारे बच्चे एक तरह के हैं जैसे आप श्रीराम कॉलेज को देख लो फॉर एग्जांपल उसमें डाइवर्सिटी नहीं है सर तो डाइवर्सिटी जैसे हम लोग विदेशी यूनिवर्सिटीज आजकल बड़ा फोकस करते हैं कि आपको एक रियल रेप्लिका ऑफ द वर्ल्ड के साथ डील करना आना चाहिए नहीं तो आप खाली टॉप ऑफ द क्रीम के साथ डील कर रहे हो वेन यू गो एक्चुअली इन द रियल वर्ल्ड यू विल फेस लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो फिर इन्होंने क्या किया जो इंटरनेशनल रेटिंग एजेंसीज है वॉट देव डन तो डायवर्सिटी में दे हैव ऑल्सो गिवन मार्क्स भाई अगर आप अलग अलग स्टेट के बच्चे आ रहे हैं तो उनको भी आप डायवर्सिटी मानोगे तो वी कैन डिस्कस सम टाइम मोर ऑन दिस इश्यूज सर मुझे तो इन चीज में बहुत ही पैशन सा लगता है एंड आई फील वेरी हैप्पी आपने इनवाइट किया थैंक यू डॉक्टर गुप्ता सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यस्टरडे आई सॉ वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग न्यूज़ ऑन ऑन द फेसबुक वन आईएएस ऑफिसर हैव डिस्प्लेड हिज क्लास 10th मार्कशीट He, he, this IAS officer, uh, he he is from Gujarat cadre, and he has shown his class tenth mark sheet in which his marks were thirty five, thirty eight, thirty nine, thirty seven, and he said that uh, the studies and these marks does not decide or they do not decide your destiny. Rather, it's your willpower. At any point of time, if you want to do something, you can do it. This means education has a clear cut chain system. but uh, sudhir ji when children are coming to university in university you will find that there are few bridges which you have to few gaps which you have to bridges what kind of gaps you find that you are trying to bridge from the school education to college education and when children will come from cuet children will come from board children will come from abroad there are many children who are coming from abroad also from nri quota to your university so uh, diversified people are there but how you bridge these gaps of Yeah, education, social skills, and other other kind of life skills. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, to help students as a university, we conduct some engineering foundation program, and we conduct foundation programs to help them to bridge these uh, skill gaps. But one suggestion for teachers, what they can do is today, if you see any sector, there is a usage of technology. Any sector, arts, science, fashion, any sector, designing. Not only engineering, people think usage of technology is only only in engineering. It's, it's not true. But if you see how many students who are entering UG is having digital discipline, actually what we can say is data literacy, and digital literacy. You see, all the students once they come to UG, they will be having a smartphone. They will reduce their social life. They won't interact with much much people. Even uh, we can see it in uh, in our tenth uh, to twelfth students also now because everybody is getting classes online. they have a smartphone at their uh, in their hand and i saw some of the teachers also promoting a, a, a news which is not reliable also which news they need to follow which is reliable just forwarding a whatsapp message which is not right which is fake cannot help a student because we have that access now as a teacher you need to emphasize on students what are the reliable sources to learn today available which are online for free and how they can utilize or get the maximum out of it as a teacher you should be giving the digital discipline to students and they can easily get distracted because there are a lot of things to learn from uh, online today and they need to understand they need to have this digital literacy and data literacy that is what teachers should emphasize today also they should as a teacher you should tell them they don't watch this is the proper new channel to follow there lot of rumors are forwarded i see teachers and higher delegates forwarding something which is a rumor it's not a reliable news source so that's what should be done from teacher side these days and we try to give that awareness to
students also while coming so this is what we need to learn as a ug aspirant as a pg aspirant there are a lot of skills we need to bridge and we are conducting programs in that manner also to help them thank you sudhir ji so uh, today nowadays uh, whatever you are claiming but you know claiming but top most university i think all of you will agree with me that right now the top most university in the world is whatsapp university <laughs> <laughs> and whatever knowledge is being spreaded by whatsapp university to you know poison our mind is influencing the part of the society largely so just one liner towards end to all the panel uh, panelists uh, i'm asking just simple question that cuet this cuet format is good or must be improved uh, must be improved and the third third option third option is that it is not appropriate so garima ji to you what 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 is option you will choose appropriate not appropriate and must be improved definitely must be improved okay so dr cb mishra if you are there yes sir i am here actually it is a, it is appropriate i can say need to be uh, included some of the universities just like amrita university is also not participating in the, all the courses op jindal university is right now not registered in the yeah uh, yeah yeah delhi ka impact hai ek ek word ka answer pucha tha par usko balance kar diya dono tarf se ye delhi ka dar hai delhi ka percentage 12th class ka bachcha jo hai wo 99% lane wala to kahin ka bhi patna board ka bhi ho sakta hai up bihar ka board ka bhi ho sakta hai that comparison is one of the important part yes yes mishra ji right now right now people from darbhanga muradabad all are listening us hmm. so we should give them a clear message that whatever whatever format is there you should try to do your best in that format yes. don't expect change don't expect improvement whatever it is people like pankaj ji and sudhir ji will certainly uh, you know uh, uh, do that kind of campaigning for that we people <laughs> should try our best pankaj ji what is your opinion appropriate not appropriate or should be improved Will be improved, sir. Ha. Actually, two answers very diplomatically. I made answers. Two answers were same. Not appropriate means improving. So they. <laughs> <laughs> it it should be improved, sir. Because mainly in yes. bringing very nice. Formative. So very good. Informative. Unanimous decision. Unanimous decision of the panel. It was an amazing panel. Mishra ji, you also want to be improved. Joshi ji, not listening. <laughs> very nice. So over to Devyani ma'am. I really enjoyed, and I'm telling you, I was having uh, by chance we shifted it from ninth to eleventh, and eleventh I was already having another webinar, which was uh, I was oh. with topmost people, but I I just uh, uh, submitted my apology to them to be here, and I really enjoyed this with all the panelists. It was great to hear uh, your thoughts, uh, Dr. Mishra, Pankaj ji, Sudhir ji, and Garima ji. Of course, Devyani ji, over to you. thank you so much thank you so much i mean heartfelt gratitude to you when you accepted i was really overwhelmed that somebody like you would be moderating uh the session has been a myriad of opinions and uh, some very insightful aspects which i captured and i would like to share the the kodak moments i would say the edrel and amrita moments that we captured were Uh, i would start from uh, pankaj gupta ji is uh, uh, quote of khalil gibran where he said that you know your children are not uh, they are through you but they are not yours they are the sons and daughters of uh, the process of life and very rightly said that it's very important the right kind of parenting and the right teacher training those are very important because we need to create passionate and motivated educators to combat the coaching uh, you know strategies and when we very rightly said that sometimes sharuk khan and the baijus and they all come up with their commodities and start selling we need to keep education as education and uh, moving on to sudhir ji uh i would say sudhir because he's a friend uh, uh, he said that as teacher you should align your teaching to the real life application you should make it relevant only then your student will find your classroom teaching relevant 
of course, Sharmanji brought in a lot of real life examples, and I think I've been noting down all the things which he was uh, talking about. And he said that coaching can never replace uh, schools, as coaching does not teach you the art of decision making, this right kind of skills, where he said that, you know, the element of decision making which a student learns on the game field. Those are the abilities, the skills that are required. Let's not convert CUET into another of those stereotypical exams. Garima Ji said beautiful three things which I completely resonate with. Teacher training, extremely important where all we felt blended learning is going to be the order and that has to be promoted. And finally, empowering our students with the right kind of goals. Because once you have a dream, then it's the teacher's duty to convert your dream into the right goal, provide you with the right kind of strategy, and give you those aspirations which can be fulfilled. Of course, last but not least, Mishraji, you came up with some beautiful uh, pointers where you spoke about with the teacher what you should be equipped with. Attitude, skill, knowledge, the power of empowered lesson plan. These are the messages which uh, CB Mishraji gave to the teachers. And both Sharmaji and Mishraji spoke about some very beautiful five E's. I think our teachers should take that, uh, have those takeaways engage, explore, el uh, elaborate, evaluate. And finally, Sharmaji said, enjoy. That is very important. While coaching might secure ranks and ambitions, what is important is whether the students are privy to their own interests and careers they wish to pursue. Thank you so much from bottom of our hearts. We thank each and every of our esteemed panelists who spared those, uh, you know, their crucial time and came here. And thank you once again, Sharmaji. I am deeply touched that you said no to another webinar, and I really hope you had a, a nice um, session here. Of course, you were a great moderator, and uh, we shall keep roping you in. That goes without saying. But next time, next time, uh, call us also like Pankaj, Mishra, Garima, and AP. We are also your friend. For sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Thank and a special so thanks much. to all, all the attendees who had been very kind and who had been uh, very jubilant with a lot of energy and they were continuously posting very good comments. Yes, there were lots of comments and lots of suggestions. That was, And this was one of our webinars. Let me tell you, Sharmaji, the house was completely full. Now, gradually, they are exiting. But I was very motivated that there were 99 at one point of time. That is our upper limit. Thank you so much. And over to you, Ashwarya. Do you have something to showcase, or we may drop the guillotine today? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, EduDev team, for having us and uh, fellow panelists. Thank you very, very much. Insightful thank session. You thank you very much. So much. Thank you so much, Vivi Mishra ji, Pankaj ji, Sudhir ji, and all um, special thanks I've already said. 
connection, man. Thank you so much. Really great.